So in this video, I'm going to show you how to get the orange box on Xbox One and possibly on the Xbox Series X in the future. But before I do that, there is some information that you need to know so that I can save you as much of your valuable time as possible. So first, the orange box comes with five different games. The three biggest that most people will be interested in are Portal, Half-Life 2, and especially TF2. Team Fortress 2, I believe, is the main game that everybody wants the most, but those are the big three when it comes to this bundle. The other two things you will get are Half-Life 2 Episode 1 and also Half-Life 2 Episode 2. As far as the second thing that you need to know, I will be posting five of these videos. They are all the same. I'm just going to have different titles for each of them. I'm doing that solely for the purpose of others so that they can find the game that they want to play. So, that being said, you do not need to watch all five videos. You only need to watch the one that you are currently watching. But hey, if you want to drop a like on all five of them or comment on them so that more players can find out how to get these games or so that we can continue to build the player base even more on TF2, that would be fantastic and much appreciated. Anyway, the third and fourth things that you need to know before you decide to purchase this bundle is that this might not work for everybody on a cell phone when it comes to purchasing this online. So you need to use a PC or a laptop for the link that I will list. And also, this orange box bundle may not be available to purchase depending on the country or region that you are from. I am from the United States and I have already purchased it myself, so I know it works here in the US. When it comes to the link. So how do you get this on Xbox One or possibly on the Xbox Series X in the future? Basically there's three ways to get it. The first way is that you can still buy it on disc for the Xbox 360 and it will work on Xbox One because of backwards compatibility. Unfortunately those game discs are expensive as hell on Amazon. I only saw a few available and the sellers wanted 40 to 60 dollars a piece for them which is crazy for such an older game. The second way you can buy this is to get it digitally on the Xbox 360 itself, which will put it in your ready to install library on Xbox One. That's the best option to go with, especially if you still own that system. It's $20 on there and it will be less of a hassle, chances are, if you still own that system, of course. The third option, and this is a bit more complicated, but it's mainly for anybody like me that does not have the Xbox 360 anymore. You can buy this game off of the link I'm going to put in the description of this video, and once again it's $20. So this link is considered the Xbox 360 Marketplace Online. You can use the link I'm going to put down below, and that will take you right to the page to where you need to purchase it. But there is a few more things that I need to mention before you do that. And this is just to answer as many questions as possible because I already know there will be hundreds of them in the comments eventually because I went through all of this with my how to get CSGO on Xbox One video, which you can find at the end of this video, by the way. So first off, no, CSGO is not included with this bundle anymore. I believe it was a long time ago, but it's not anymore because CSGO was blowing everything else out of the water back then, and Valve decided to sell that game separately for that reason. So they took that game out of this bundle. Number two, I do not believe all the demos are still active. Some are, but you are more than welcome to try the rest if you are interested in that. Those will be listed below the game off of the link. Another thing, you cannot purchase this game on Xbox One directly. When you search for it on Xbox One, it will say on the right side, buy on Xbox.com or on Xbox 360. You can't buy it on Xbox One. However, when it comes to what it said about Xbox.com, don't even waste your time. It does not work on that site. And the link that I posted in the description of this video is considered a completely different site from Xbox.com. So that Xbox 360 marketplace is the only way to get around that. So basically all you got to do is when you buy the orange box off of the 360 or off of the link, 
you need to hit download to Xbox 360. It doesn't matter if you do that on the system itself or off of the link on the PC. The goal here is to get the game in the purchase history or in your ready to install category first. That will allow you to see it on your Xbox One console in one of those two places and then you can install it from there. And I will say this, because if it's anything like what happened with CSGO for some people, sometimes, and it's very rare when this happens, the game may not show up in either of those two places, but that's no big deal. The third place it would appear is actually in the Xbox One store. I know I said that you can't directly purchase it from the Xbox One, and that's true, you can't. However, you can install it from there after you purchased it from the link or on the Xbox 360. But you do need to wait 10 to 15 minutes sometimes for it to appear in either your ready to install category, purchase history, or on the Xbox One store. It will be in one of those three places on your Xbox One automatically. And also, when you decide to buy it, make sure your Xbox One console is off when you buy it. Otherwise, you will have to restart it in order for your console to list it in your game library. I know all of that might be a little bit complicated thanks to Microsoft not including the game on the Xbox One store to begin with to purchase, but I wanted you guys to have all that information so that you don't freak out or feel like you got ripped off or in case you couldn't find the game after you purchased it. And I'll say this too, the biggest reason why games like this don't get as many players as it used to is because people can't immediately find it on Xbox One to begin with. But hopefully that changes a little bit now, thanks to these videos. And the player count continues to build over time for Team Fortress 2. But anyway, if you guys have any more questions at all, or have any concerns, you know where the comment section is. Don't be afraid to ask or to read through other people's experiences so far to see if it worked, which it will, especially if you were from the United States. And by the way, if you need help and I don't respond, I'm sure somebody else will respond to help you out eventually. And if I can think of anything else that I missed or forgot to mention that might be important, I will pin that comment in the comment section below and it will be the top one. So make sure you check that out too. But that's it for now. Enjoy the games. Have a great day and I'll see you next time. Peace.